Hey everyone, welcome to a new series called Nindy Spotlight. This is going to be a series where I dig through a whole bunch of games, find out what gems there are out there and present them to you and show you exactly why they deserve more attention. Today's video will be focusing on a game called Depart Prototype or just Depart for short. Developed by N4BA or Naba, this has been one of my favorite horror games to play recently and really did scare the heck out of me. Oh fuck. Naba is a solo game developer who's created a number of horror games, one of the most popular being Nine Child Street. For anyone who has not played that or heard of it, definitely check it out on Steam, it is an excellent horror game. However, all of Naba's games typically have the same sort of elements, creating a very dreadful and horrible suspenseful feeling that you just feel trapped and you're not going to make it out alive, trust me. Released in early May this year, this game has not a lot going for it in terms of story, but if you're looking for horror and good fun, this is exactly where you want to be. With incredible sound design, lighting, and overall very impressive visuals, this game really, really immerses you straight into it from the get-go. Okay, okay, that was a bit cheap, but trust me, it does do an awesome job of building tension. The main premise of this game is to basically escape the basement that you've been chucked into, all while avoiding enemies who can hit you with one shot and kill you at any second. Now, some of the enemies' movements may be a little goofy, and some of the voice acting might be a little strange. Oh, you fucking hell. Don't let it put you off the fact that this game will suck you in and scare the absolute shit out of you. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the fuck? If you manage to brave it out and get through the very first floor, you'll finally get your first automatic save point. That's right, there is no manual saves in this game, so if you end up closing the game out of sheer terror or just dying to enemies, you will go straight back to the beginning when you boot back in. Upon reaching this save point, you are met by a dark staircase leading down further into another basement. This is where you'll start to reach the second half of the game, which starts to increase its intensity tenfold. As you slug your way through the flooded depths of the second basement, you'll encounter a larger amount of enemies enemies who are harder to kill, quicker enemies, and bigger enemies. They will be out for your blood, and you better be careful because I died many, many times down here. If you manage to hold it all together and get through to the end, the game should only take you about 15 or 20 minutes to complete, depending on how quick you want to go. It will take longer if you do die, so just keep that in mind. If you do get to the end, you'll find a pretty funny Easter egg, which I won't give away, but uh, if you know what I'm talking about, hit the like button and... Uh... Yeah, subscribe. Hilarious. Overall, I give the game 7 out of 10, only dropping down because of the lack of a storyline and slightly linear gameplay. However, fans of horror, I definitely recommend you download this and give it a go. It is a great example of what a solo developer can do when they really do have a passion for this sort of thing. So definitely check out the description. I'll link the game in there and you guys can download it and play for yourself. Well, there you have it, everyone. That's been my review of Depart. And that's been the first episode of Indie Spotlight. This has definitely been a huge change for my sort of channel and the sort of content I'd usually make. So just giving this a try and seeing how things go. If you enjoyed the video or you found it interesting, please give me a like. And uh, if you subscribe, that's cool too. Socials will be in the description and you can follow me on Twitch over at twitch.tv forward slash Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.